Earlier this year, Congress passed something called the UAP Disclosure Act of 2023. The law requires the U.S. government to tell the public what it knows about the countless unidentified flying objects that have been spotted in the skies above Earth over the past 3,000 years. This is ridiculous, folks. They either, they do exist or they don't exist. They keep telling us they don't exist, but they block every opportunity for us to get a hold of the information to prove that they do exist. And we're gonna to get to the bottom of it, dadgummit, whatever the truth may be. We're done with the cover up. We're not gonna bring you in a saucer or a little green man. That's not what it's gonna be about. And I know y'all, every time you play this interview with one of us, you play the theme from X-Files, I get it. But the reality is the American public deserves to know. It's designed to be, and it very well could be, a transformative piece of legislation. And it comes at a time when we can finally say with confidence that the most unlikely sounding theories about UFOs are actually true. Yes, these things are real. They're not all weather balloons. They're not experimental aircraft from this or any other country. Whatever they are, they are not of human origin, nor do, they, nor do they behave according to the laws of known physics. And yes, the US government currently has physical evidence that they exist. That means wreckage of the craft as well as the bodies of the beings that flew them. Amazingly, all of this is true. We know that from the detailed testimony, much of it under oath, from several high-level whistleblowers, including longtime Intel officers Lou Elizondo and Dave Grush, both of whom we've talked to. But there have been many, about 10 so far. So the question is, now that the UAP Disclosure Act has passed, when can the rest of us see the information that we paid for and in fact own? Well, not so fast, it turns out. One of the great secrets of Washington, known to everyone inside Washington, is that many of the most powerful members of Congress do not work for their constituents, much less for the rest of us, for the country at large. They are instead puppets of the most secretive federal agencies. They are controlled effectively by the permanent bureaucracy, including through bribery and blackmail. Two such members happen to be especially powerful this term. They are Congressman Mike Rogers of Alabama, who is the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee, and Congressman Mike Turner of Ohio, who is chairman of the House Intel Committee. Both of these men have been instructed to violate, in letter and in spirit, federal law, and to hide the truth about UFOs from the American public. They're working to do that right now. It is infuriating to watch this, but if you think about it for a second, it's also baffling. Why is this happening? Federal agencies have been lying about UFOs for more than 80 years. This has been a coordinated effort. It is both highly time-consuming and very expensive many Americans have been hurt in the process. But why, what's the point of this? Would it be a lot easier just to release the facts? Now, the conventional explanation for why they haven't been released is that the US government is lying about UFOs because the truth about UFOs is too scary to reveal, that they're real, and our leaders wouldn't want to panic the population. But that's not true, in fact, it's ridiculous. Wouldn't want to terrify the population? Terrifying the population is what our government does best and most avidly. It's not like these people mind it scaring you. They want to scare you and they do it every day. So why would they lie about UFOs? And then this question, the most pressing of all, has the US government communicated directly with the beings that piloted these craft? Have American officials ever entered into any sort of agreement with them? And if so, what are the terms of that agreement? These are not random questions, they are informed questions. And at this point, Americans have a moral right to know the answers. One member of Congress who might be willing to ask those questions is Congressman Tim Burchett. He's a Republican from Knoxville. Burchett is one of the very few lawmakers in Washington who seems genuinely outraged by the cover-up in progress. Last year, the House Intelligence Committee held a hearing on UAPs. They brought in some Pentagon bureaucrats to it, who only had two answers to the questions they were asked. I don't know, or that's classified. This hearing is going to be different. We're going to have witnesses who can speak frankly to public about their experiences. 